So now we're going to enter uh, the new band facility. A lot of former LP students here from the mid-90s and earlier would remember this as the small gymnasium uh, on the second floor. In fact, I learned how to ballroom dance in this room with uh, Miss, uh, Miss Judy Tarando uh, back in the, in the mid-80s. But this is going to be a great new facility. Gr tall ceilings. I mean, there is no third floor uh, above us. And so it's going to have great acoustics in here. You see the crews are putting in the all the uh, infrastructure above the new ceilings. Um, we have, uh, I believe we're going to have like six or seven practice rooms all together between the band. And we'll take a quick walk through the, the, the corridor here, the new corridor into the uh, the new choir facility, putting soundproof doors and facility, uh, got soundproof equipment in here that will tamper the sound, so it's not going to be disturbing the art program. We have a department office on the right hand side here. We have practice rooms here on the left. This room does present some interesting opportunities just because of, this is the corner suite here on the second floor. So we're, we've got a solution where we're going to have curved risers that will be um, in the corner of the room here that will allow our choir uh, instructor to be able to engage all the students. The piano is going to be over on this side. You can already see the, uh, the accent wall paint. The carpet has been laid and it's, it's protected right now. It really is a pretty color. Um, it's going to be a really nice environment to, uh, to perform in. One of the other new features that will be installed in both the choir room as well as the, the band room is we're going to be installing recording studio equipment. So our instructors are going to be able not only to record practice sessions, they can play that back to the, to the kids right at that moment so they can hear what they have, um, how they sound, make any necessary adjustments or the instructors can record, listen to it, and provide feedback on the following day. But we're also going to have equipment that the programs will be able to create their own CDs. So there's all kinds of great opportunities to be able to showcase the, the, uh, the work of our kids and the talents of our kids. I'll take you down and show you some of the, uh, the practice rooms here. There's a nice open swap there of the carpet. Just get an idea of what that looks like. We have a large ensemble room uh, in here. And then we have two other smaller practice rooms. And then we have a very large storage area that will house a significant uh, portion of the collection of music that we have. I was saying earlier down on the first floor, we have about another 1,500 square feet of storage that will be able to house the uh, the band uniforms. Uh, there was a there was actually a garage right below where I'm standing right now that our buildings and ground staff park, parked their pickup truck. Well, we, we reclaimed that for the band program as well, and that's going to that's completely getting a facelift. New rolling coiling door on the outside and percussion instruments uh, materials will be able to to be housed there as well. But you can see this is going to provide a nice facility uh, for our kids uh, to be able to work in, in, a, in a larger group setting. Uh, where, where I'm standing right now, this used to be the, the area where um, staff would come and get their staff lunch. Um, it's just amazing to think about how this has changed. This wall that's right here, this is, this is a brand new wall. Uh, this is uh, uh, going into what used to be the staff lounge. We'll, uh, we'll finish uh, this leg of the tour on the other side here um, with, the, with the elimination of the old cafeteria that's being turned into the, uh, the new staff lounge as well as the principal suite of offices. Where the staff lounge used to be, we've completely blown that wall out and we're going to have one student commons area. So we're, we're going to get rid of the names, the old cafeteria and the new cafeteria, um, which I've always, it's always kind of it's an interesting, kind of a funny, funny piece of how we name things. The old cafeteria was 1936. The new cafeteria was 1963, but it's still been the new cafeteria for you know the last uh, 60 years or so. Um, but it'll be nice to have all of our students in one one location for all the lunch periods. And 
we've got some really exciting ideas on how we're also going to use that space outside of lunch periods, and especially when we have athletic events in the evening, um, uh, and what kinds of things we're going to be able to house and showcase there. So there'll be more on that in the future. So the last set of rooms that we're going to tour here on this on the second floor wing before we head over to the student commons. Uh, this used to be a portion of the art classrooms and we're converting these into one of our special needs transition programs. These are for students that um, are ages 14 to 18 and are um, learning life skills in terms of cooking, cleaning. So there's two parts to this room here. One we're going to have an actual apartment uh, that will have all of the equipments and the furniture that you would typically find in a, in a studio flat apartment. And the other side will be a, a, a little more of a traditional classroom setting, although it still have unique furniture. Uh, this is a really great opportunity for our, our kids to be able to have that daily practice uh, and experiences, not only in the classrooms here, but I know that they'll also have opportunities to go out and do um, field experiences in, in the community. Um, like our fine arts programs here, we're very fortunate to have a, a, a high quality premier special education program for our students. So we're coming down to the, the end of the, the second floor wing in the far end of the E. Where we're heading now is the, the corner that would actually lead into well, it used to be the, the new cafeteria. This is a pretty remarkable space right now with all the locker bays are, are ripped out. You see the exposed brick uh, from oh, this 1936, you know, 37 uh, era. As we cross over into the, what will become the new student commons, we're moving into the 1963 edition. So this area here, when it was constructed, had a wall all the way across. In fact, there used to be a stairwell that went up to the third floor that we demolished and we've uh, expanded the floor base. So this this whole space right here is is going to become additional seating um, for our students during lunch periods. So it just it takes up just a vast space. Um, we're going to be purchasing a significant number of new lunch tables uh, to be able to accommodate that. But it will be nice to have everybody. In, in one room as opposed to going in between two different rooms. Especially when we have uh, big athletic events or programs, this is going to be a really nice space not only to um, uh, host events, but I think we've got some really cool ideas to showcase the accomplishments of our not only our student athletes, but also the accomplishments of our kids in our clubs and our activity programs as well. We're going to take one quick peek into the gymnasium. We're putting all the new infrastructure, the heating, the new air conditioning systems in. So the whole floor of the gymnasium has been covered with um, sheets of plywood. So this, this looks a little differently. I'm sure uh, um, Coach Trevaney and Coach Vickery um, would not want to play uh, basketball on this hardwood floor. But thankfully, our, our floor is, is well protected here. We've had two large air handlers that, that have been removed. Uh, we'll have new infrastructure that's going to be put in there. Um, crews have been putting in the, the fire suppression sprinkler systems. Um, in fact, when you, when you look up there, they're, they're all white, so you can't even really tell um, what's been put up there. And then the next phase is going to be putting all the duct work in for the new heating and the, uh, the air conditioning uh, system. So this. This will become a very, very comfortable facility, uh, especially on those, uh, if we ever have a rainy day on graduation night, um, we know that we're gonna be at least in a, in a, in a cool environment, but let's hope that we can continue this uh, six year streak that we have out in Howard Fellow Stadium. But as you can see, the, the complexity of the work, the scale of the work, at this point is it's off the charts. I mean, I give kudos to Pepper Construction, our, our management firm that's, that's organizing all this. You know, we have on a daily basis 150 to 160 workers uh, in the building. Um, it is, it, it's an amazing process to see the building completely ripped up and torn up 
But as it begins to, to come together, it's, it's like the, the wings that have already been renovated. You see all the brick on the floor and you wonder, oh my gosh, what in the world have we got ourselves into? But then when you see that finished product, I mean, the, the quality of the crafts people that we have on, on this project is unreal. I've met some of the most talented people and the pride that they have, the quality of the work that they're doing. It's great to see so many local people uh, here uh, being employed. We're really proud, proud of that. This is going to be a project that for years and years afterwards we're going to have lots of people, maybe even just driving by with their families, are going to be able to say that I had a part you know, in, in, in making that building, uh, in the interior, what it is today. And it's something we're very, very proud of. So we thank you for joining us on this sixth video. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll let you know if we're going to have any future plans uh, for any other summer videos. But we are in the planning stages for a large community grand opening. We don't have a hard date uh, set on that, but once we do, we'll be sure to get that publicized to the community. Thanks very much.